Okay. It's been long enough. It's time that you all get a garden update. So I'm gonna take you plant by plant and we're gonna see the Harvey garden. First, here's my strawberry progress. We actually have some strawberries coming. Okay, the blueberry are coming. Um, I heard it actually takes like two years for them to grow, so it's gonna be a while before we see any growth. These are vinca vines and, um, oh, I can't think of the other name, but I've been putting them around the sides of my arch. And here is the grape. I don't know if you guys remember when I first got it, it was a mere branch. So we have some tendrils coming out of it. So I'm actually going to, this weekend, tie the grape leaves to this trellis because they will trellis. You have to train the leaves how to do it. And I'll show you the grape on this side too. These are the vinca vines. And I'm sorry, I can't think of the other vines. This is the other grape leaf. Same thing, has the tendrils. I'm gonna put it here. This cabbage is so freaking huge. I'm gonna see if I can find some B-roll and put it in here of what the cabbage used to look like, how small it was. It is so big and it's not even, there's not even cabbage in there yet. So anyway, just to give you all some perspective on how huge it is. Here's my hosta, it's so freaking big. Swing a left. Here is my okra. They are doing really well, no problem at all. Um, last year I wasn't able to successfully grow okra, but this year I am. So they're, they're looking great. So here is the pepper plant. It has definitely gotten taller. Um, I think I got a few teensy tiny peppers on there. And then this pepper part, this other pepper plant, it actually broke off last night in the wind. So we'll see. Guys, I have to be honest with you all. I made a little mistake with these tomatoes. I did not put the appropriate dirt in here. And so the dirt, when it rains, it, it, it gets really muddy. So there's nothing else I've learned. You really have to do the containers justice. <laughs> but nevertheless, my green thumb shine through and I have some tomatoes coming. So that's awesome. I have already. So let me show y'all the kale. I've already been consuming it. Um, I was showing some, somebody was on a video asking me, you know, can they eat their kale? Like, yeah, you totally can. Let's do this one here. And I'm gonna swing this way. We'll do the herbs first and then we'll go to the rest of my garden. All right, so I got deal here. It's growing, but um, it's going to seed. Let me see if I can give you all some perspective on how tall it is. I'm standing up straight and my arm is straight out. So that's how tall the deal is. Um, it rained last night, but I've already emptied out the rain gauge, but it was like all the way filled up. It didn't rain last night, it stormed. <laughs> so here's the lemongrass. Give you guys some perspective on how tall it is. The uh, cilantro is going. But it's pretty much gone to seed because cilantro can't really handle. Um, let me show y'all the seeds. That's the seeds. It can't really handle that hot weather. So this is my mint. I actually had more mint, but I let I gave some cuttings to people because mint is just as crazy. Look at it. This mint and this chocolate mint is going wild in a good way. But um, yeah, I gave some to some people last night, so that's why I don't have as much. But I don't mind giving it away because mint is one of those things that like the more you pick, the more it grows. So that's the mint. 
This is the lemon balm, which I've been putting in my tea, which, oh my God, is like the best. And this was actually bigger too last night. I, I cut some of that. This is lavender. It smells amazing. It looks amazing. It's just all sorts of awesome. This is my um, sage, which again, it was bigger last night, but I've, um, I gave some of that away too. But I don't mind giving it away because it um they grow back they grow back even this year so let's get in the garden and then we'll get some close-ups of some of this stuff okay some more footage i'm in the garden now so this is the pumpkin the um day trellis as you can see but i'm gonna have to uh, move them around a little bit to pick them up but it's hard with pumpkin because i don't know if you guys can catch it on the camera but pumpkin vines are actually spiky and that's a protection thing for them but um i can't just touch them regularly because they hurt like they literally hurt and the vines are kind of heavy so i'm gonna move them and hopefully get them on this trellis but if not they'll probably just go all out in my garden which I don't want them to do um this here is watermelon I have a lot of grass in my garden y'all please don't judge me it's like the more I weed the faster they come but this is grass I mean I'm sorry this is watermelon <laughs> I got one little baby watermelon right there <laughs> It's gonna be a while for the watermelon and it may not make it before the first frost, but we'll see. And here's some more watermelon. And this is cantaloupe. So again, two things. I'm not sure they're gonna make it uh, before the first frost, but I'm hoping. This right here, I'm moving, is, um, it's kind of funny. So I had this pack of cucumbers in my pocket cucumber seeds and then I lost the pack and then I found it in the ground and so <laughs> next thing I know these freaking cucumbers are growing and I just had to grab a trellis because they were like yo sis this is where we at so This is the other purple cabbage. Just to give y'all some perspective, y'all see how big that other one is? These are peppers. I got some little baby green peppers coming. These are the jalapeno. The jalapenos. And these are the cucumbers. They're starting to trellis and flower, but they're not quite here yet. So give me a couple weeks, they'll be here. This is still my surprise. Nobody can guess what it is. If you all guess correctly, I will tell you. But they're growing just fine. And these are my tomatoes. Um, I swear I didn't have tomatoes last night and then it rained and now I do. So I got tomatoes growing everywhere. You can see them, I got some in the back there. Tomatoes down there. They're so tall. I'm standing straight up. It's probably four or five feet. Let's hurry and see if I can show y'all this corn and these other okra. So I got okra here, okra there, and this corn is growing just fine. Nice and pretty. So, and I got watermelon over here too which I literally don't even remember planting. And I got watermelon like right there. I also don't remember planting. So if you guys can see, I'm standing in the garden. This is the full Harvey garden. Most of it at least. And a whole bunch of grass that I need to weed. Those are chives. So there you guys go. And these greens, I don't know if I showed that to you guys. They're bolting a little bit, mustard greens. Oh my gosh, I spotted a bee pollinating. Oh my goodness. That was a nice little surprise. 
so that's the whole garden let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed my gardening update and make sure you subscribe i have videos coming every week just for you recipes and gardening bye